It was meant to find life on Mars, but when the space probe Beagle 2 lost contact on Christmas Day 2003, it left Colin Pillinger, the mastermind behind the project, devastated. We did not get any content of a signal, nor indeed a signal, from the surface of Mars. Colin never did find out what happened to Beagle 2. He passed away last year, but scientists have been trying to figure out what happened to it ever since, and now it looks as if they have. It might look like a small white dot to you and me, but this is proof that Beagle 2 did land on Mars. These new images, taken with a high-resolution camera by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, appear to show that not only did it land, it partially deployed. I'm very excited that this is Beagle 2. It's closure for me. Always wondered what happened to Beagle 2. It looks like we've really found it on the surface of Mars. Someone else involved in the project with the band Blur, who created a piece of music to be the probe's signal back to Earth when it landed. Dave Rowntree from the band told us that he'd always hoped they'd find it. We do appear to have been inches away from a successful mission. It seems like the last panel didn't unfurl. We can't definitively say that yet, but if that's true, I mean, how, to, how, how heartbreaking, really. But Colin Pillinger would have been thrilled that the entry and landing went to plan, and he'd have no doubt tried to improve upon the original model for future missions. Of course, the real tragedy of today is that Colin Pillinger isn't here to share it, because he'd always said that not knowing what happened to Beagle 2 was the worst part. You can't help thinking that there's you know, one person who's not in the room who would be the, you know, he'd be very much the centre of attention, he'd be revelling in such an experience to be here, so it's, it's, um, it's sad from that side of things, certainly. If Colin had known that we got so close, he would have immediately written another grant application to do a Beagle 3. Nothing would have stopped him from doing that. Colin always said we had unfinished business on Mars, but now it's going to be up to someone else to finish what he started. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.